Here's Tim Couch from the shotgun. This time a fake, and there is the aforementioned Mr. Yeast. He's got the first down at the 32-yard line. If you'll pardon the Don King express, uh, expression, trickeration. Pass over the middle, and that is complete to Gary Davis, but well short of the first down. He is taken down at about the 30. Couch from the shotgun, and he has to get rid of it in a hurry, and he does, and that's Anthony White. And White gets down to the 30, about two yards shy of the first down. Tim Nelson made the tackle. side, and Couch looking at him, and now it's going to be a little screen out to Homer, and Homer, with second effort, is shy of the Lance Mickelson in motion, and Couch throwing for Yeast, and he's got it! Inside the 15-yard line, Craig Yeast. With him, I know he's going to run the corner. I've given him a little bit of a gap. No, look, I break on the ball. I'm there, but the pass is perfectly thrown. Look at that. He lays out, has his hand in the way. Yeast able to get both feet down. This is the accuracy. But that's the, the, the essence of Hal Mummy. And coming out of the backfield is Anthony White. He's got himself a first down across the 25 yards. Just shy of the 35-yard line for the first down. Here's Couch in trouble, gets rid of it, and he completes it to Anthony White. White takes a tackle, and on second effort, he gets very close to the first down. It depends on Watt. Take a look at how he just barely gets this off. Gets sandwiched between two Mississippi State defenders, then Anthony White does what he has been doing all year long, making big plays. Third and long. Over the middle. Oh, what a catch that was by Kevin Coleman in a first down at the 45-yard line. Was a great catch. The second read of good. Has a chance. To looks right, looks left, comes back. There's Coleman in the field, middle of the field. Extends himself. And as you pointed out, Charlie, a great snag. Pickup of a dozen. Seven. They have to get to the 40. Couch back to throw. Ball seemed to be tipped. And yet it's still complete to Kevin Coleman. At the 37 yard. That time they wanted to protect, so they only had three out on the pattern. In this case, Coleman, who made second and nine. Couch in trouble again. This time he's going to run it. Couch who wrestled out of bounds at about the 29 yard line, about a yard shy of the first down by Edward Smith. Take a look here. He has a chance to go out of bounds. The city 360s gets clobbered out of bounds, but he's a tough guy. And first and 10 at the 34. Couch with a lot of time, firing over the middle, that was some pass. Kevin Coleman to the 40-yard line of Mississippi State, a pickup of 26. That's what we're expecting to see. That's the deep end. You can see Coleman right there. There's the route, the deep end, and Couch lays it right on the money, and Coleman can't quite decide what to do. But Mr. Couch is back to work, and he zips a pass, and he finds Craig Yeast at the 20-yard line, about a yard shy of the first uh, scrimmage, but they're not doing that with Yeast. They're giving him a lot of respect. They're giving him the 10-yard cushion. Yeast able to take advantage of it. Oh, some nice well, his brother actually would eventually make this number quite famous indeed. And there is Kevin Coleman inside the 10. The blocker is in at fullback. I'm thinking they're going to run. Nope. Here's Couch. He's got some room to roam if he wants to. He's throwing. Here he's running. Did he get in? Yes! What did I tell you? They're going to run. <laughs> he brings so much to the dance, does Tim Couch. Six feet, five inches, 225 pounds. Got a rifle arm. He can run. Not afraid to take a lick. And there are a lot of folks who think this is his final year at Kentucky. Oh, Tim Couch shows his ability, looks to his left, now looks to his right. How Mummy pointed out, he said, you know, you get a watch on this guy, and you're not that impressed. He's not that blazing fast, but he makes people miss. And he's athletic enough there to get it into the end zone. He's pretty thrilled with that. I mean, here's a guy that swung nearly 30 touchdown passes. You, <laughs> you thought he'd have won the Super Bowl the way he did. Here's going for the two. Into the corner of the end zone. It's caught by the tight end. Yeah. It's Whalen. It's interference against Mississippi State, but they'll let it go. The walk on from Shaz to the 214 pound tight end comes up with a great catch and two points for Kentucky. Great move here. Cuts inside, goes to the corner. Watch the catch. Cooper holds his right arm and he extends himself and still able to come up with the catch. Talking with Hal Mummy about him yesterday, he said, You know what? Physically, he's not all that imposing, but he makes the catches and I like him. Spare moments that he had. And here he is looking over the middle, and this time he dumps it off 
to Derek Homer, and Homer dives ahead to the 45-yard line. That should be enough for another first down. Cats has some work to do, trailing by 11 points. Here's Cats firing over the middle. That's Kevin Coleman. Coleman to the 40-yard line and down at the 39. Well, as Chris pointed out via how mummy the middle be key. Davis cuts over the middle, but it's Coleman comes from the other side of the field on the slant who's able to come up with the ball. On second and seven, here's Yeats. Look at that cut. And finally down at the 25-yard line. They came with the blitz, and they get the screen out. And if Yeats breaks one more tackle, he's gone. Edward Smith is hitting the ball just outside the 20-yard line. Out fires, and it's complete. That's Kevin Coleman inside the 15-yard line. Any chances? They rush with four and cover with seven. A little bit of a zone. Coleman sits down in the dead spot, able to come up with a big first. Now throwing over the middle of the end zone. Touchdown! Kevin Coleman, who has been Couch's favorite receiver tonight. 13 yards, and now Kentucky is back within five. This is from up large on the 13-yard touchdown pass from Tim Couch to Kevin Coleman. Couch is first of the night. 28-yard line. Here's Couch with the pump fake one way. Looking the other way. Now he's going to run it. And he's going to run it out of bounds. And he picked up a lot of yards on that play with some nifty running. He may have gotten himself a first down. Very close. He close thinks, thinks he has the long ball, but he doesn't. So he brings it back. Cuts up field. Take a look at the fake. Right there, he steps out right there. Good call by the official. But then he ability, A, to get rid of the ball when in duress, and B, to run out of the pocket when he has to. And now he throws the ball, and it's complete to Derek Homer. And that's more than enough for a first down to the 41-yard line. Now six carries, 109 yards, six catches, and 34 more yards. And here is the pass completed to Jimmy Robinson. Very close to the first down. Now leading by one here in the third quarter. A flag flies, and so does a pass down the sideline. And is it caught? Oh, it is caught by Gary Davis. He just took it out of the hands of the defender. Particularly good route on the part of Davis. He cuts up field, and as I say, this is a jump ball. Great effort on the part of Davis to jump over the top of Roberson and make the catch. Now at the end there, Roberson gets him by the face mask, but the free play turns out to be... Couch. Rolling, 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 throwing toward the end zone. There's Yee. Craig Yee said to us the other day, catching a Tim Couch pass is like. Couch really is just trying to get rid of this. He, now he's backing up, backing up. He just gets rid of it. He throws in the city. Look at that. He's almost on his backside. And Yeast bails him out. Daniel could have made a better play than that. Yeast at 5'9", 166, shouldn't have been able to bail him out with his body, but needless to say, number two is very happy about it. And he points in the right direction to Craig Yeast saying, hey, man, let Mississippi State the ball right back. Couch, quick toss to Craig Yeast. Yeast, moving toward the middle, has some room down the sideline. Yeast down the sideline and finally run out of bounds. In Mississippi State. Curtis has a big play. Yeast comes back with a big play. He cuts against the grain, does an awful lot of this on his own, shows the great speed, gets to the outside, breaks the tackle. That's exactly what the doctor ordered for Kentucky because they've been a little bit anemic. So Couch finished 35 of 45, 338 yards and two touchdowns. And in talking to Tim Couch the other day, and we spent a good deal of time with him, you and I talked, there is an overwhelming impression from what he was saying to us that if, as we all know, Cleveland has got the number one pick and Cleveland is so inclined to take Tim Couch, he would be more than happy to go along. Answer I got from him, do you have anything left to prove at Kentucky? And he said, not really. Maybe a bowl win, but after that, no. This is a good example, and you'd appreciate this because you're a baseball guy, Charlie. This is an example of when the starting pitcher wins without his best stuff. Couch was off, his thumb was hurting him a little bit, made some interceptions, but he bounced back and shows what the competitor he is. And so Kentucky wins it by a Jackie, score of 37 to 35. For Todd Christensen and Chris Barlow, Charlie Steiner saying goodbye from Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington, Kentucky.